We wanted to follow up real quick on last week's show with Perry, which was shared by like tens of thousands of people, which thank you so much for watching and sharing. We didn't have a ton of time with Barry, so we went really quick and it was a high level conversation. And I've heard from both realtors and consumers that it was just too much mortgage speak for them to digest. So let's take a minute and break this down so everyone can understand. We will also give you an update to what has happened since then. Realtors and lenders, this will be something that you can share with your consumers so they understand as well. So what happened last week? Well, again, oversimplifying this here on purpose, but the regulator that is FHFA, Federal Housing Finance Agency, surprised the mortgage industry and implemented a surprise half point hit to refinance transactions. So what does that mean, Ryan? Hear me on this. It doesn't mean that rates increased a half of a point. For instance, let's say the average 30 year rate was 3% last week. This doesn't mean that rates increase to 3.5%. So if it doesn't mean that, what does it mean? It simply means this. Let's take that same rate of 3% again. Well, last week, that rate of 3% may have cost you nothing to obtain, cost no points. But after the surprise announcement, the very next day, the same rate would have cost you a half point to obtain. So the rate didn't necessarily increase, but the cost to obtain the rate did. Make sense? Well then, what's the big deal, Ryan? Good question. Let's get into that. First, let's quantify it. Take a nice round loan amount of 300,000. Well, now that costs an extra $1,500 to the consumer to refinance that loan. That money doesn't go to the lender, by the way. It goes to Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, the GSEs. What's a GSE, you might ask? I'm glad you did. Well, it's a government-sponsored enterprise, GSE. That is a quasi-government entity established to enhance the flow of credit to specific sectors of the American economy. Key words being enhance the flow of credit. Well, shoot, didn't we just do like the opposite of that last week? I mean, I'm not a smart man, but arbitrarily raising the cost of credit seems like the opposite of enhancing the flow of credit. And the worst part is that money goes to the GSEs we just talked about in the first letter of that acronym, GSE is government. Let's not forget that. Hey guys, just for like kicks and giggles, uh, let's go ahead and Google Fannie Mae's mission statement real quick. Oh, here we go. Our mission statement is to provide liquidity, stability, and affordability to the US housing market and has never been more critical than it is right now. Snap, don't look at me, it's 2020 and it's opposite year, anything goes. Yes, I know Fannie Mae's mission statement says provide liquidity, stability, and affordability to the US housing market. And yes, I know last week's surprise move undermines all of that. I don't know what to tell you. I mean, it's 2020. Kidding, playing around a bit, but yeah, that is a head scratcher, right? I mean, why would they arbitrarily charge the American people $1,500 more to refinance a home in the midst of a pandemic? when financial relief is so important. Sorry, that wasn't rhetorical. I actually genuinely want to know. So if you have the answer, please just put it in the comment section below. Now, that's what happened last week. It's obviously way more technical than that, but you have to go to last week's show if you want to nerd out. So what happened after the announcement? Well, all H-E double hockey stick broke out. The National Association of Realtors condemned it. The Mortgage Bankers Association condemned it. The brokers condemned it. Your mama condemned it. Kidding, but she probably did. The Dems condemned it. The Republicans condemned it. Heck, even Trump came out against it. <sighs> well, that's great, Ryan. Everyone, everybody and their mother condemned it, but did it change? And what did you do to bring about change, if anything? Well. We did what any homeowner would do, and we wrote a sternly worded letter to the Homeowners Association. Now all we have to do is sit back and just wait. Kidding, sort of. I mean, we kind of did that, but it's like in a much cooler mortgage sort of way, if that's a thing. The Mortgage Action Alliance collected all of our voices and let them be heard. While it's not repealed yet, it is working. So far, 80,000 messages have been sent to the Hill, not that Hill, this one. Our voices have been heard by 100 US senators and 99% of all US representatives. It generated bipartisan support when even the sky being blue couldn't right now and mustered collective blowback from Congress, not to mention reached several media outlets like the Wall Street Journal, which is basically the already source when you think about it. Anyways, that's what happened last week and feel free to join the pushback by jumping on the Mortgage Action Alliance link. We'll post it below. It's super easy, it takes about 30 seconds, so you just need to take a vaccine and chip yourself. Kidding, gosh. But let's just continue to push back on this greedy, unnecessary fee to the American people. We need realtors and consumers to join us. Let's do this. Click the Mortgage Action Alliance link and fill it out if you haven't done so already. Then share this show with your past clients, friends, and family, and let's all collectively push back to save each other some money. And then we'll see you guys next week.